know, physically, uh, just, you know, my body feels different. I feel, I feel healthy. I feel energized. Uh, working out, I feel strong. And then um, just confidence-wise in, in my throws and, and watching the highlight film, working with Trevor, uh, I feel good. And then working with you just on my interviews. I, I feel confident going in, you know, you know to my interviews. Uh, well, if you just went in there blind, you, you don't know what they're going to ask. You have no idea. And they ask you, you know, describe yourself in three words. You know, that, that would take me ten minutes to try to think of the three perfect words. And now, you know, I, I, don't, I might not have the same ones, but I have an idea of what, you know, what, I'm, what I might say and, how, and why I'm that way. And that's just from, you know, you know working with you and, and, and uh, you know, trying to, you know, it, you know, bring out your personality a little bit. Bring out the way you want people to see you. And, uh, you know, sometimes I think when I'm in an interview, I've got to be all business and all, and all work because that's what they want to see. But, you know, you've got to realize coaches want to see that, you know, you have something else too. You're not just off football, but you're going you're to get along with the teammates. You're going you know, to be a good guy and you're going to, you know, have fun playing this game. Uh. Hello, I am new to rap. Show me around. I heard that a conscious mind is not allowed. Niggas in the bleach is talking out of bounds. I can see the zombies walking through the crowd. Some of y'all need your volume turned down. Your pedestal burned down. It'd all be worthwhile. Never undermine integrity, first vow. Most of y'all couldn't audition for Motown. You bought another chain and watch. Oh, wow. Meantime, in between time, see the decline, recline for some meantime. Throw the peace sign, beast time off the leash. Shine, I'm a napalm, boom, bomb. Hit the city, I move calm. It's too long. I've been missing for too long. See, I moved on. Very beast with two stones. TTC, it's your boy Rayvon from Virginia, from that two up and two down Giants Mafia in the building. What's going on, y'all? Working with something a little different right here. Got this damn studio light. Shit still don't look right, but I'm going to get it together. Hey, I really appreciate everybody and all you guys who came out and uh, looked at my last video and supported my last video, um, Dwayne Haskins versus Daniel Jones, uh, which NFC East team made the right selection. That video just hit a thousand views. That was amazing. Uh, made me feel real good when I got up this morning, man. So I really appreciate you guys and hats off to everybody who came over and supported that. Also, big shout out to a uh, New York Giants fan and a vid maker. You, yeah. the hub out there, my boy, the hub, uh, you know, not a trash talker, but he will break down everything New York football giants out there. And uh, he deserves uh, some more subscribers, man. So I'm going to put the link to his uh, channel in the description. And uh, you guys can hit that up, man, and uh, go by there and check that guy out, man. That's my dude. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some time later to do some work with him, man, and we can grow a little bit together, man. But, yeah, Giants fans, we may be, as Giants fans, just pay attention. We may be in for something special. We may be in for something special with Eli this year. The pressure is on him. Odell Beckham is talking trash and throwing people under the bus and, you know, causing for Eli to sit there and have to respond to him, a la Tiki Barber effect. We all remember how that went. We've got so many different media, uh, whether it's the national media or the New York media or whoever, no respect to Eli. I mean, absolutely no respect at all for my boy. And we've got this old line amped up. I think, honestly, to be truthful, what I'm sitting here saying right now, and it's going to tell a lot with this game coming up against the Bears tomorrow, um, they might be micromanaging Eli right now because they don't want to let out the, you know, don't want to let the cat out the bag right now. You know, as far as how, <coughs> excuse me. How, uh, you know, Eli's preparing for this season coming up. How his arm strength is looking a lot better. You know, how his endurance is looking a lot better in the offseason. He worked with a baseball coach that, you know, helped strengthen his arm and his endurance. Um, so he changed up his workout regimen as far as, uh, and, I, and I'm really with that, I'm bothered a little bit because I'm wondering what took you so long to do that. You should have been doing it. But the thing about it is, is that he's getting ready to go to war with, the best O-line he's had in a while, and it's still, you know, yet to be proven with them. Uh, one preseason game, seeing them together doesn't actually prove that, but I expect for this to be the best O-line that Eli's had in, in a little while. 
the tight ends that we've got, you know, with Eli having a good O line and being able to step in the pocket and get back to his play action, the tight ends are gold. We're having Evan Ingram out there, possibly um, CJ Conrad and Red Ellison. I feel like that's the best nucleus that we've had at tight end in a while for Eli. It is disappointing that Golden Tate is going to be out the first four games, and I feel like you see, obviously, in the highlights that Eli and Golden Tate's been building chemistry all off season and training camp, mini camps and training camp. They've been building uh, camaraderie and, and chemistry, man, and that's something that should be looked into definitely uh, to see if that's going to affect Eli. But I think they want to keep Eli's situation under wraps a little bit as far as uh, what Eli's potential is going to be this year. Um, that third and eight last game where Eli was in for the one series and they handed the ball off to Goldman, um, I think that was part of the plan. Gettleman's been had a plan in place, and that was keep the New York media off of Eli's ass, the uh, New York and national media off of Eli's ass, and everyone else off of Eli's ass until the fucking season starts and we get this thing going. Because this is this right here is his farewell tour if he doesn't play well. You know, Gettleman and, and Shermer has pretty much, I'm not going to say they've separated themselves from Eli, but I would say that Daniel Jones is their baby. You know, their jobs will not be lost due to how Eli Manning plays this year. Their jobs will be lost due to Daniel Jones not developing and turning into a winning quarterback for this franchise. So they've, they've separated themselves away from Eli just a little bit. Just a little bit. But for all you NFC East fans out there that constantly want to run your mouth and say that, oh, we got a Saquon Barkley and Saquon, Saquon this, Saquon that, you guys are dumbasses. You never seen anything that Eli had coming for you any time that he had it out for you. Believe me, and you still don't give him credit. As of 2014, my quarterback has only averaged 12 interceptions a season since 2014. Since 2014, my quarterback has only has averaged 25 touchdowns a season. Since 2014. And since 2014, my quarterback has averaged over 4,000 yards passing, which a lot of you dumbasses can't sit there and say. Since 2014, my quarterback wins Super Bowls and Super Bowl MVPs. He doesn't show up to the game with a fucking sling or his kneecaps all out of place. And then want to hold the Lombardi trophy before the quarterback that won it. And you will pass it off to Nick Foles. Don't pass me the damn Lombardi, you bitch. You shouldn't have touched it before me. I won that motherfucker. <laughs> Go sit your cripple ass down. Ginger Jesus. Shit. Ain't even got to talk about Dak. You can't even get past. You can't get past the divisional round, dude. Fuck out of here, man. And you definitely can't win without Zeke. So how the hell you gonna get paid? Sit your dumb ass down. Y'all making a big mistake by sleeping on Eli this year. And I'm gonna say it personally. You're making a big mistake by sleeping on Eli Manning this year. Eli's gonna have a good season this year. He's gonna come out. As long as I don't see Eli fold when the pocket collapses, you keep your head up. And you look down the field and you take whatever punishment is coming to you. That's what I didn't like last year. As long as I don't see Eli being a complete check down king, which I don't think you work on the arms, your arm strength during the offseason to throw check downs all season. So you guys better put your thinking caps on, man. I think uh, Dave Gettleman and, and Shermer and Eli and them got a lot of people fooled. They got a lot of people fooled going into the season. And it, <clears throat> from the looks of it, it seems like what I've seen the other three quarterbacks doing in preseason, it's going to be bombs away during the season. If y'all ain't caref careful, as long as we got some wide receivers. <laughs> and that's a big if. Shit. So, it is what it is, man. I'm going to get up out of here, but I just wanted to leave y'all with that real quick. And I really appreciate everybody coming out and supporting, um, you know, my last video on my channel last time, man. And, um, yeah, we ain't got nothing to worry about. You know, Mara's comments is exactly what Mara's comments were supposed to be. We hope Eli plays this whole year, which means we will have a successful season. He still gives us the best chance to win. There's a lot of things that Daniel Jones needs to learn still. He, Eli still gives us the best chance to win. And Mara hopes that 
Daniel Jones doesn't see the field at all this year. That means that Eli's not hurt and we had a great season and there was no reason to pull him. That means the Giants are winning. For the Giants fans out there that can't sit there and decipher what the hell he's saying, he's saying that means we're winning. And if you don't like that, then y'all need to get the fuck up out of here. But y'all already know what it is. I'm going to get up out of here to this video. is running up. But my boy Eli, I'm with you. That's my dog. I'm still with you, dog. We got one more year, to uh, at least this year, to change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Change the narrative and do this thing right, man. And I'll get up with y'all a little bit later. It's your boy Ravon from Virginia signing out. Giants Mafia. Go! Uh. Hello, I am new to rap. Show me your round. I heard that a conscious mind is not allowed. Niggas in the bleach is talking out of bounds. I can see the zombies walking through the crowd. Some of y'all need your volume turned down. Your pedestal burned down. It all be worthwhile. Never undermine integrity. First vow. Most of y'all couldn't audition for Motown. You bought another chain and watch. Oh, wow. Meantime, in between time, see the decline, recline for some me time. Throw the peace sign.